This video is to show how to do fuel valve testing for MAN BNW engines. Basically, you call it as fuel injector pressure testing. And how we do this fuel valve testing? So, for testing, we will do five functions, which is flushing, spindle guide leakage test, opening pressure test, sliding test, and o ring seal test. These are the five tests that we will be doing. So, this is the fuel valve which I am holding. It was uh, overhauled, and we need to do the testing of this fuel valve. So, I am taking it to the test bench and fixing in the test bench. And you have to ensure it is properly seated, and you have to fit the spring housing in place, and it has to be tightened equally with the help of nuts and uh, I am looking for the nuts yeah okay so how we need to tighten the nuts so once you are uh, tightening the nuts you have to see confirm the spring housing it should not be damaged you can see the spring inside you can see the pin inside the spring housing that should not be damaged so that is one thing that you need to check before uh, mounting the spring housing the pin should be in a good condition then you can start tightening both the nuts equally and the spring housing should be flat surface it should not be protruded you can see now it is protruded once it is tightened you can see flat surface between the housing seat so next we are uh, once you are fitted with the tightened the spring housing next thing that we need to do is you have to fit the fuel valve inlet pipe so for this testing machine now i am going to show how flat surface is you can see this is the flat both should be on the same surface same surface it should not be protruded up so next is the inlet pipe fuel uh, for the testing machine tighten it properly so once the fuel valve is uh, tightened now uh, then you have to do the fitting for the return line this is the return line fitting which will be having a banjo bolt so that whatever uh, oil returns will flow through this line and come back to the fuel valve testing station so what type of oil you have to use for this fuel valve testing so the maker of this uh, testing machine and the maker of fuel valve had recommended some fuel some hydraulic oil that can be used that is already sticker it is we are using mobile dte 10 xl 15 this is the oil that we are using this is the entire uh, station i will make a separate video on this what are all the parts in fuel valve station so now it is fixed so once it is fixed you have to do a checkup of uh, whether we have enough air pressure and the oil should be inside the fuel valve testing chamber sum you can see the oil is inside so this oil is enough to do the testing so the this is the inlet uh, return pipe that uh, i will keep in such a way you can see the oil coming out from the return pipe so that uh, you don't need to struggle much to see the oil so it has to be placed in such a way that it is visible from seeing so this is fine i kept in this way so the fuel valve should be fitted like this next we will start the function first is flushing function what is uh, flushing function so before doing the function we will open the air valve this is the open the air valve and you regulate the air pressure to 0.1 bar using the regulator so this is 0.1 bar 0.1 mpa and uh, you just need to keep on pumping so 
the idea is you have to get the written oil from the written pipe without any air bubbles now i will start doing the pumping and you can see how it actually looks when we are uh, doing the testing flushing so this is the pump handle regulator handle i am pumping and you can see the written oil coming out you should see the written oil coming out um, once the written oil will start coming out once the fuel valve is completely filled with oil now you can see the oil coming and it is coming along with the air so this is what i am telling the oil should come out without any air now you can see the oil with the air this should not be there you have to keep on uh, pumping till the oil is completely free of air so whatever the air inside the system should be vented out so that is what you call it as flushing or venting the system basically we are doing the purging that's all like how we take out air from the pumps that is what we are doing for this fuel valves so once the air is out then you can see a mild increase in pressure on the pressure gauge that indicates that there is no air inside the system and when you push you can see only oil is coming and no air is coming out so this is what you call it as flushing function so this is the first thing that you need to do i will show you one more time you can see the oil coming out without any air in the line so this is fine so this is the first function okay so next we will go for the second function we are done with this uh, first function test it is perfectly all right so we will be doing the second function function test is uh, opening pressure test so actually what we need to do for this fuel valve is we will check at what pressure the injection is happening so usually what uh, i used to do is i increase the air pressure to around 0.3 bar and i don't keep it at 0.6 bar usually i will show you both the way you can understand so first i will show by keeping the by regulating the pressure to around 0.3 bar means 3 bar so now once i uh, kept the air pressure in 3 bar and i regulate the or i use the pump and now at 3 bar the fuel oil pressure you can see 3 to 4 bar you can see the fuel oil pressure at what pressure it is dropping that means injection is opening is happening so if you uh, now i am raising the fuel uh, air bar pressure to 6 bar so when it happens you cannot see the exact point of opening it will happen in seconds so you cannot uh, exactly point out at what pressure the fuel valve is opening so now again i will be showing you just increase the pressure to around 3 to 3 bar 3 to 4 bar and start the pump once the pump reaches pressure 200 bar you slowly regulate the air pressure you can perfectly see at what pressure the fuel valve is opening so and if you keep at 6 bar it will be a little uh, uh hick to check the opening pressure you can see this uh, this is how this is the opening pressure of this fuel valve so i will show you one more time and in this what all things you need to check is you have to ensure from all the holes oil is delivered and you have to keep the torch on one side and you can observe the nozzle i'll clean the plate and clean the glass and uh, show it one more time so just regulate do the pumping and you can see the fuel valve opens at 
the pressure getting it little bit closer yeah it's already opened so I will uh, focus a light and I will make it one more time so that you can have a clear cut idea so slowly increase the pressure and you can you have to be very keen while watching this fuel opening time so that you can concentrate on all the holes or getting oil or not that's all so all the oil all the nozzles means nozzle hole or getting oil so that means the fuel valve nozzle is okay and uh, this is how you have to test the opening pressure of uh, fuel valve uh, two ways either you can take it directly to six bar pressure and uh, test the opening pressure if not you can keep the air pressure to three bar and once the pressure increases to 200 bar inside the fuel valve you can regulate the air pressure to increase the fuel valve pressure and the fuel valve exactly opens at some point which is called as opening pressure and it will be easy also so we are done with uh, two functions one is our uh, flushing the second is opening pressure so next test will be spindle guide seal test so how to do this test so very simple all you need to do is if your opening pressure of the fuel valve is say 300 you have to keep the pressure 100 bar less so take the fuel valve pressure to 200 and keep that pressure steady and at that pressure you should not find any leakage of oil from the fuel nozzle now you can see there is no oil leakage from the nozzle the written line oil flowing is common that will that is not a problem it is common only but if there is any leakage coming from the nozzle that means spindle guide is having some sealing issue so you have to open and check it so very simple with the maximum with the with the opening pressure mentioned opening pressure build up the pressure less than if it is 300 take the pressure to 200 next will be the slide test so slide test is very simple what we need to do is we have to take the pressure fuel oil pressure to maybe 200 or 220 whatever more than 100 is okay and keep the air pressure to 0.2 only now when the pump is in stop position you can see the pressure drop from the fuel valve the pressure will drop slowly 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 you can see that you can see the drop of pressure in the pressure gauge it is dropping down once it drops down you can see the pressure is dropping it is dropping down when it reaches 10 bar 10 to 0 bar it will go very quick that means your slide valve is working functioning yeah this is what the slide test that means your slide valve is functioning perfect okay so this is called slide function test we will uh, show you one more time increase the fuel oil pressure and uh, stop it stop the pump then the pressure will start reducing once the pressure start reducing it will reduce very gradually and when it reaches to 10 bar from 10 to 0 bar it will go very quick that means the slide valve is functioning it shows it is functioning and not sticking if it is not you can see a 10 to 0 will be very fast that's all so this is what you call it as slide function test next will be o-ring seal test so what is o-ring seal test 
o-ring seal test is very simple all you need to do is you have to pressurize the fuel valve the fuel valve should be pressurized that means you can confirm by the oil which is flowing out from the return pipe the oil is flowing out you can see yeah that means the oil is the fuel valve is pressurized so next thing what we need to do is you have to block the return pipe that means you have to open dismantle the outlet line which i am doing now just uh, open it and you have to plug the return line man bmw has provided a special tool for plugging this non return line this is the tool that uh, we need to this is the fitting that we used to plug it so just plug it and tighten the screw tighten the nut I am doing now. Okay, so a complete tight will be fine, so that the oil don't leak when the valve get pressurized. So tightened. Now what we need to do is you have to increase the pressure to air bar. Keep it. around 1 bar to 1.5 bar and give the increase in pressure inside the fuel valve you can see the fuel valve pressure is around 100 or 120 will be fine so at this pressure at this pressure there should not be any leakage from the fuel nozzle or from the nut area you can see here it is holding the pressure 120 bar at 120 bar you can see the nut area there is no leakage of a oil that means the o-ring is perfect and you can see the nozzle is not dripping that means your nozzle is also perfect so this is what we call it as o-ring seal test the pressure still remains the same so the fuel valve is perfect to mount on engines so the o-ring seal test is done i believe uh, after watching this video you must have got some idea about uh, how to do fuel valve testing for man bmw engines very simple you just need to check all the five functions before you install the fuel valve in place so as i said first will be do the flushing second do the opening pressure test third do the spindle guide seal test fourth do the slide function test and finally you do the o-ring seal test so all these test should be completed and uh, after the test result find satisfied then you can install fuel valve for operation thank you all for supporting thanks for watching if you have any doubts please put in comment box definitely i will reply you if not you can whatsapp me directly i can reply you on my uh, whatsapp number thanks for watching thank you all keep supporting bye guys